Be the bank, not the borrower. We just flipping love owning everything. Shares, commodities, property, debt. Banks own other people's debt and get massively rich in the process. Peer-to-peer -peer lending is our favourite route into the world of owning other people's debt. We love peer-to-peer -peer for its high interest returns, regular cash flow, safety relative to shares, and that most give sign-up bonuses on platforms that we would have signed up to anyway. Every peer-to-peer -peer platform that we've invested in and reviewed up until now has lent to a mix of businesses and individuals, but there's now a way to invest purely in another type of asset through peer-to-peer -peer lending. Commercial property bridging loans, the high interest business property loans for property developers that are essentially short-term mortgages. We approach a specialist platform called LoanPad to find out exactly how they do it. LoanPad, rated excellent on Trustpilot, is the first platform that we felt that warranted a review that specializes in property loans. Short-term mortgages and huge commercial properties, which as a member of the platform, you own a slice of and get paid the interest. We're excited to tell you that we interviewed the CEO and founder of LoanPad personally to give an inside scoop on how exactly this platform and their sector works, where it's going and the future roadmap for LoanPad. We want to disclose here that during our talks, they gave us a small sum of money to allow us to invest in and test their platform properly, to get to grips with bridging loan investing and give this video justice, on our condition that we could say whatever we wanted about them in this video, in the spirit of honesty. Our testing revealed that LoanPad do several things differently to its competitors, welcome solutions to the problems of diversification and risk that are more sophisticated on this platform than on competitors like Easy Money and others. This type of investing represents a new asset class, a subsector of the peer-to-peer -peer lending market that you have got to be involved in if you, like us, want to own everything. So, a loan pad worthy of being in your portfolio? Let's check it out. Welcome to MoneyUnshackled.com, the investing channel and website that says you and your finances free. This is Andy, I'm Ben, and if you like what we have to say, hit the like button and click subscribe. If you like the sound of LoanPad, we've negotiated a £50 cashback deal for you when you open a new LoanPad account and invest £1,000 on top of the 5% interest rate. The link to this offer and many others is on the moneyandshackle.com offers page which we've linked to in the description below. Now let's get into the video. What is a bridging loan? At a basic level, if you were buying a house to renovate, often the banks wouldn't give you a mortgage because the property would be temporarily in too poor of a condition to be lived in. So instead, you might take out a bridging loan, which are generally high interest short term loans of around 3 to 18 months secured against the property. It is a high interest and costly way of bridging the gap in time between buying or starting a property project and getting that property mortgaged cheaply by a bank once the property has been renovated. This kind of loan is very common on commercial, i.e. business properties. Think of a rundown central London office block that is being modernised. The property developer needs to free up cash to get the work done. But borrowing the money on a mortgage isn't viable because the building is in an unhabitable condition while the building works takes place. Instead, they'd use a bridging loan. The high interest rate charged on these loans is great for the bank doing the lending and an incentive for the property developer to get the job done quickly and the loan repaid and swapped out for a far cheaper mortgage. Nobody has it better than the banks when it comes to investment opportunities and the more that we can be like a bank, the more money that we can make. And now we can take part in lending bridging loans to property developers on platforms like the one we've tested today, LoanPad. How it works, LoanPad. Regulated by the FCA, LoanPad teams up with large established property lenders to bring investors in the platform commercial property loans to invest in. The platform is home to 1,200 investors, including me now, has 7.5 million of loans under management and a growing portfolio of big commercial property lending partners. You as an investor are acting like a mortgage provider, lending money to businesses so that they can develop commercial property with. We love the idea of being the bank, the banks get rich by lending money to businesses and now you have the ability to lend on commercial property too. What you're really doing is buying a part of a loan that has been set up already by a large lending business. The business buying the property puts in a deposit and the lending company provides the loan. The lending company then sells part of that loan to LoanPad who divides the rights to the interest and capital repayment on those loans to the LoanPad platform investors. 
The third party lending companies with the market experience are the ones who manage the loans, while Loanpad monitor and supervise as the senior charge holder. Crucially, Loanpad investors are not the only lenders that are involved in each loan. The current ratio of loans across the platform are funded around 25% by Loanpad investors and 75% by the large lending companies. This means that there are other major players in the game who can administer the loans if Loanpad ever went bust. Plus, as investors, we can diversify our money across four times as many loans. And here's the kicker. Loanpad have first charge lender rights on all loans in their portfolio, meaning if a borrower goes bust, our investment gets the best protection. Let's demonstrate this. If the borrower is unable to repay the loan, then the property will be repossessed and the money will be paid back to the lenders, including us. But what if the value of the property had fallen, such as what might happen during a bad recession? Well, first, the borrower would lose their deposit. If the property had fallen in value by more than this, then the second charge lending partners would take the hit, leaving the lenders with the first charge to collect their money. On most loans in the portfolio, this would be the loan pad investors. The platform, our tests, dropping a G. I dropped a thousand pounds into the platform to give it a proper go and find out for myself how it works. Here's the landing page of my account. The deposit was almost instant, certainly within the first couple of hours of me making the bank transfer. Here's the daily interest payments I was receiving at 4% in the Classic account. When you fire up the platform as a new user, you choose between the Classic account, which is daily access and a 4% interest rate, and the Premium account, which is a 60 day access account with 5% interest. Both of these Loanpad accounts are available as a standard account or an ISA. In this case, an innovative finance ISA, which you are allowed to pay into alongside your stocks and shares ISA, lifetime or cash ISAs. Amazingly, the platform has auto lend and auto withdraw features, which you toggle on or off in the preferences tab, which are useful for those of you like us who want to just invest and forget. There's also a free monthly newsletter and blog for members, which you may as well take advantage of. Any free investing knowledge is worth digesting. Withdrawals. We're so pleased to be able to tell you that Loanpad have a secondary market. The best platforms have to have this function, which lets you sell your investments to other investors, allowing you to exit the platform if you want to before the loan maturity dates. That said, if there are no other investors at the time that are willing to take those loans off you, then it isn't such a big deal because the loans are short term anyway, generally between 3 and 18 months, so the organic liquidity is quite good. The platform also has a cash fund to pay you out if you withdraw your investment too. They build up their cash until they can take on other loans and expand naturally, but meanwhile the cash that's lying around in the platform can also be used for investor liquidity. So access to cash is fairly competitive compared to other peer-to-peer -peer platforms. If you use the premium account, remember there is a 60 day wait to get hold of your money and that is the price you pay for that juicy 5% return. Withdrawing my precious cash. Now, what you all want to know, how quickly could I get my hands back on my cash? I tested the platform's liquidity by withdrawing all of my capital in one go. Now, withdrawing money from Loanpad is a two stage process. Step one, I transferred my capital of £1,000 from my classic account to the cash account. You can see my interest is all sat in the cash account as this is too small currently to be auto lent. Withdrawals are not immediate, but I initiated the transfer at 8 a.m. and by the afternoon, all those funds had transferred into my cash account. Remember, I had the classic account with easy access. The premium says it would take 60 days to release the funds. Step two, withdrawing from the cash account to my bank account. This happens instantly on the platform. But the banking system takes one to three business days to move this cash around through the ether and we don't think that this is the fault of the platform. I released the cash on a Wednesday evening. By Thursday lunchtime I had received the full amount plus interest back safe and sound in my bank. Interest. The interest rates are 4 and 5% which is largely comparable with big P2P platforms like Ratesetter and lower than what you might expect from platforms such as Assets Capital and Lending Works, which might aim for slightly higher risk businesses. Higher risk in theory than Loanpad because Loanpad loans are asset backed. Loanpad is backed by property and invests in a different area of the market to those platforms and is potentially more directly comparable to Easy Money's P2P lending platform which offers interest of only 3.67% at the lower end. As we've seen from our testing, interest is paid daily which is great for cash flow and visibility but a problem for those who are investing small amounts is that interest cannot be reinvested into the platform until you have built up multiples of £10 in your cash account your interest will simply build up in the cash account, not benefiting from the effect of compounding until you've hit that magic £10 number. What you could do is switch the auto withdrawal button to on, thereby withdrawing your interest to your bank account each month to reinvest as you please. 
LoanPad have told us directly that they recognise this issue and are working on sub £10 investments within six months. This would hopefully resolve this issue by allowing investments from a penny upwards. Awesome. Diversification and rebalancing. We love the diversification method on this platform. You see, unlike other platforms where you own parts of specific loans on the platform, on LoanPad's platform, you own a small fraction of all the loans on the platform. These are the loans I was invested in. These are all of the loans on the platform, all backed by first charge rights to the underlying physical property. If one fails, all investors suffer equally, and likewise if one fails, you suffer less than you would if it was just you and a few other investors that had exposure to that loan. Every day at midday, your portfolio rebalances. This takes account of new users joining the platform and new loans added or being closed out, and rejigs your allocation to each loan to smooth out your exposures. Diversification and rebalancing happens automatically and takes the decision out of loan picking. This works for us perfectly as we can't be bothered to pick individual loans to be part of our well-balanced and diversified portfolio. But for those of you who want to pick your own loans, then you are likely to be disappointed here. Protection. We've mentioned the innovative diversification method, the first charge property rights to repossession, and the cash buffer built into aid withdrawals, but there's also a couple of other protections built in. There is an interest cover fund, which is used to continue to pay you interest in the event that any of the loans fail to deliver. From time to time, a borrower may struggle with their repayments and need an extension to their interest deadline, but you, as the investor, would in theory not be impacted. And they have an innovative finance ISA option, which protects your money from the greedy taxman. Hands off my cash, taxman. LoanPad versus the competition. As we've said, the platform that we think is most like LoanPad is Easy Money, which is another commercial property lending platform that I hold a significant amount of my wealth in. And I can honestly say that LoanPad is the superior platform. Easy Money delivers and does what it says it will, but diversification doesn't happen instantly. Rather, it takes a couple of weeks to spread out, not like LoanPad at all, where it happens instantly. Compared to peer to peer lending platforms in general, the simple user interface reminds us of platform rate setter. On LoanPad 2, you simply choose an interest rate and then you get paid exactly that rate, no messing. All told, this is a great user-friendly platform which we're happy to throw some of our hard-earned money into in good faith that our money, with interest, will still be there in a few years' time. Bridging loans added. Well, that's another piece of the world we now own. Commercial bridging loans. Another piece in the puzzle and a step further towards our ambition of owning the entire world. And don't forget, we've negotiated a £50 cashback bonus for any customer who signs up and opens a new LoanPad account with £1,000 through our unique link. Take advantage of this while you can. Question of the day, have you found any other way of investing in commercial bridging loans? And will you be adding some of this to your investment portfolio? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching. On this channel we talk a lot about personal finance, investing and all things money. And if you want to see more great content, please click the subscribe button below. This is moneyunshackled.com. See you next time.